Let's get started on the example. In the first phase, what we had to do is install the Cloud Mesh tools. The idea of installing this Cloud Mesh tool is to have our own benchmark suite. Here, you first need to install the Cloud Mesh installer and the Cloud Mesh command. Let's go ahead and install these tools. It may take a while, depending on the network connection in the cloud. The other thing is like if you haven't gone through the Google Collab video series, you need to first go through the Google Collab video series. In that video series, we already explained how to create a Google Collab notebook and how to add your code there and compile it. So we executed the first step. Let's do the next step. In this step, we just check the Python 3 version. This is 3.6.8. This is the default version installed with Google uh, Collab. Next, what we need to install is the TensorFlow API. The TensorFlow API, in a sense, provide a way to design your neural network with much easier API definition. Here, we install the TensorFlow GPU uh, 1.14 version. This is the current stable version. And currently, TensorFlow is working on uh, releasing a stable 2.0.0 version. Uh, once it's uh, re stable and released, you can use that version as well. But for this tutorial, you can either choose 1.14 or 2, because we don't use deeper TensorFlow API to design this model. We'll be using the Keras model to design this model. The next requirement is to install Matplotlib. This is another Python package which helps us to uh, visualize the data. Basically what we will be using this tool is to uh, demonstrate a corresponding data point from the testing uh, training data set and showcase the value of it. In the next step, let's import all the libraries which are needed. In the first three lines, it provides the compatibility for Python 2, but in this class, we recommend you to use Python 3. Uh, don't use Python 2 because the support for Python 2 will be uh, ended by the end of this year. The next important package is the NumPy. Uh, this is a numerical analysis library for Python, which is really famous among scientists, so you can use this library to create arrays uh, and process your data. The next import is the Keras requirement. So you'll be creating dense layer, activation layer, dropout, things like that. But in this tutorial, you won't be using the dropout, but you'll be using dense activation, uh, the categorical API and plot model. The other import is importing the Keras dataset because we need to have a dataset to train. So the MNIST dataset is already uh, inbuilt within the Keras. So what it does is it downloads from a remote repository and it downloads to the Google Collab workspace. The next import is the stopwatch from Cloud Mesh command that we installed previously. So this will help us to do the benchmarking. The importance of the this tool is to provide uh, a clear benchmark. If you follow the third video of the Google Collab video series, you know how to do a benchmark using Cloud Mesh APIs. The next one is to install Matplotlib, to import Matplotlib. In importing Matplotlib, we provide the capability of uh, plotting the data, uh, which we'll be showing next step. In this step, what we have to do is pre-process the data. Pre-processing is one of the most important thing in machine learning, deep learning, or in any other statistical learning. The basic thing is to load the data and partition the data into training and testing samples, and also clean the data if the data is not in a numerical format. The other thing is to normalize the data. These are the most important things that you need to follow. In the next tutorial, let's see how we are going to pre-process the data.